Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, and sorry if the audio is terrible slash the picture is terrible. I'm cheating and using my desktop camera to check and see my phone camera. Um, but it is apartment tour time. I finally got it cleaned up to the point where I'm ready to show it. So, I'm going to turn the phone around and show off my new place that a lot of you have been asking for. So, here we go. Okay guys, so, I was sitting at my desk, but... Um, I also don't know if anyone's ever seen my setup, but there's my setup. Um, you know, my nice $1,800 setup there. Um, three monitor. You can see I got the camera um, tracking me. All my game systems down below um, for streaming setup and all that. Plus some, you know, regular desk supplies. I don't have my gym badges up currently. Um, I haven't found a good place for them yet, but I'll get those shortly. So... Um, but yeah, my schedule tracker for, um, keeping track of when videos go live and all that. Obviously I've got rope lights. Um, my apartment's not very bright. Oops, dumb shit. Don't put the, um, finger in front of the phone, or lens. But, um, yeah, I, uh, have a rope light up because it's not very bright. So, um, my filing cabinet, all that good shit. So then, right behind my desk is my living room, which a lot of you will see in the videos up in the corner if you look. Say hi, Francis. You wanna say hi? You don't wanna say hi, do you? Okay, Francie. Um, anyways, living room here, which is right behind my uh, dad's old recliner. Um, Francie has a bed there that she lays claim to. And then the couch, which is a sleeper couch. That blanket's supposed to be on the backside, but the ornery little child likes to knock it off because um, she's obstinate. But uh, yeah, those blankets are supposed to keep her from tearing it up because uh, leather and fur don't, or uh, claws don't mix very well. Obviously, my front door, go bears. Um, coffee table. It is Christmas time, so I got my little Christmas tree that my grandma made me, and my coffee table has my Champion's Path Marnie um, display thing on it. So, speaking of Champion's Path, over by my desk on the wall there, you might have seen it on the backed up view, we've got the Champion's Path um, EBT, the one that I opened that had the uh, Rambo, or the shiny Charizard in it, um, and the other uh, Marnie pin box, which you guys might not have seen that video yet, because I'm not sure when this video goes up versus when the pin box opening goes up. Um, and then those are sitting on top of my Hot Wheels collection. I don't know if uh, anybody remembers the um, Highway 35 and Acceleracers series, but um, there were like five movies. Uh, they were really terribly computer CGI'd. Um, but they're still very good videos. Um, so I ended up getting the cars when I was younger, and then as I got older, um, I bought a set for collecting. And that's what you see here, you know. You're probably looking at $600 at least. Actually, it's probably more like $1,000 in Hot Wheels there, because I think that one right there is worth $300. It's either that one... Or that one. One of those two is worth $300 alone. So, but yeah, my, uh, the only Hot Wheels I ever collected. And then, of course, that is right at my, um, TV, which is right next to my desk. Um, I've got the game cabinet there where I'm keeping all the games for, um, you know, streaming and all that good stuff. So, we've got oldies and goodies. Um, you know, Luigi's Mansion, Wind Waker, which I said I was going to play on the channel and still haven't. Um, I will come back to that and get it done. Um, Switch games. And then the thing that I am most proud about, obviously, the Pokemon games. Um, one of every game. Up through Sword and Shield. Sorry, I just got the hiccups for some reason. And I've shown this off before, but really happy um, and excited about the, you know... Tons of money that I've dumped into this hobby of mine. <laughs> I joke. I don't regret it at all. There's a lot of good 
childhood memories involved in all of this? Oh, I forgot to show off on the desk. Oh, um, Infinity Stones that my brother made. Um, just saw those. Um, I forgot. So, this is not my, like, the desk that I had when I was at my parents. This is the top half of it. I left the bottom half with my parents because it's just too heavy to carry upstairs. But my lights, my lighting from, um... The end of the video is when I was at my parents. Those are still there, so I can light up the underside of the desk if Francie wants to sit under there. I do have a uh, deck patio here. Uh, I'm not really using it right now because of the fact that uh, it's cold in winter, but I'm sure in the summer I'll use that. So then from the living room, you get to the quote-unquote dining room slash... Um, then into the kitchen. Um, I got another chair here. The birthday gift from my brother, because the crazy kid decided to get himself a 3D printer a couple years ago and just continues to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, that is the Master Sword that he has 3D printed. I will eventually sand it, paint it, make it look like the actual sword, but it's a cool little decoration that I haven't figured out. It used to sit over there but then I put the Champions Path stuff up there, so, yeah. Um, now the sword sits there. On the end of my TV stand, um, I've got my first two binders of Pokemon cards. Um, I've got a video up on the channel with most of that being covered already. Um, I might do an update one here when Gen 8 finishes. I'll do an update as to where I'm at. On the collection, the next binder, um, that collector's one, it's actually my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as is the one after that, and then that third or last binder is just a uh, binder that's currently not in use. I'll figure out what to do with it, and then the stack of Acceleracer cards there. Got my little garden over here of cacti. Um, every year when I go to Arizona, I usually bring one or two cacti back. Um, I just I love cacti. I, they're easy to take care of. It looks like one of these guys is dying, so I might need to water them. I don't think I've watered them since, watered them since I moved in, but my cactus garden, um, there's the Bears banner that used to be in the background of uh, videos. Um, all my DVDs, let me get this turned here, sorry for the shaky cam, DVD collection, um, the... Uh, replica Thor's hammer that my brother printed for me. I It's filled, so it's heavy. Like, it's got some weight to it, but I still need to paint and prime that. That's been done for, like, almost a year now, so check back in a year on the Master Sword and all that. Then, obviously, all my DVDs. Um, I've collected quite a f wide range of DVDs um, from my childhood. Um, just, you know... So I had something to watch and all that. A lot of my favorite Disney movies. My brother's currently got most of my Star Wars stuff. Because um, he's at home and the internet sucks. So he's borrowing that. But, you know, I've got quite the collection there. Everything Star Wars except for The Mandalorian. Um, got So, like, the top shelf is all Disney. Then we get into DreamWorks. Then we get into... You know, superhero stuff, Teen Titans, Young Justice, all four seasons of Static Shock, the DC animated movies, and then we start our run into the MCU, going all the way up to uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. I have Logan, because I quote-unquote count it in the MCU as the end of the MCU. Um, now that Fox has been bought, somehow it's going to be put in there. Then we get into my TV series. These are the series that, as a kid, I loved, or, in the case of Avatar, have come to love. Um, just so I can share them with my kids someday if I ever have kids and that thing. But um, Courage, Danny Phantom, Ed and Eddie. Only the first two seasons, though. I wish I could find the other five seasons. Um, Jackie Chan Adventures. Francis, why are you nipping at me? She's over here drinking out of her bowl, making noise while I'm trying to record. Then we get into the Pokemon movies, all of them up until um, they made the Switch in animations, so all of them up through Gen 6, because I don't care for Gen um, 7's anime style, although Gen 8 looks pretty good, I haven't watched it yet. 
And then we get into the individual seasons. So I've got every season of Pokemon on DVD up through, I believe it's Sinnoh League Victors. I'm waiting for the actual collector's edition of Sinnoh League Victors to come out, but then I'll have all through Gen 1 through 4. And then I'm skipping Gen 5. I think Gen 5 anime was terrible. Terrible arc. And then I'm grabbing Gen 6, because while Gen 6 was slow at the beginning, it got very good towards the end. Regular show, Scooby-Doo. A lot of Scooby-Doo stuff. Uh, SpongeBob, because, you know, child. Uh, Storm Chasers, which was a show that helped inspire me to become a meteorologist. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, because that's my favorite season. Um, the old ones have gotten a little too cringy for me to watch, um, and I never was particularly a fan of GX, so... And so on and so forth. And there's that, that Hot Wheels World Race. That's what I was talking about with... Oh, there's no back to it. Um, that's what I was talking about with the Hot Wheels set. So Then we get into the kitchen. Um... Did a load of dishes, forgot to put them away. Pretty typical. Uh, it, nothing special about the kitchen, really. You know, it's, uh... I don't know, I'm zoomed out all the way. Yeah, there's really nothing special to say about the kitchen. So. And then we go, there's, yeah. So there's a good shot of, like, the entire living room. So then we go down. That's the, uh, furnace closet right there. Francie's going into our room. Um, got a cross stitch right outside the door that my grandma made me because um, she's really into cross stitching and all that. Go down, um, there's the bathroom. That is my utility closet where I keep all my cleaning supplies and all that. And a uh, grocery list there. Um, slash reminder whiteboard. So let me come into the room. Yeah, it's messy, I know. It's laundry day tomorrow, sue me. Um, got my other flat screen TV. What was that, child? Got my other flat screen TV above my dresser, so when I'm laying in bed, I can just see. Get in bed real quick. So there's my view. I can uh, watch TV, movies, all that sort of thing. Francis, would you stop yawning and making noise? Jeez, I just would like to record. Um, which is usually how I fall asleep. Then Francie's area, which is everywhere in this apartment. She's claimed everything, but her actual area is right there. Um, her kennel and all that for when she uh, is at home alone while I'm at work because I don't want her running around and peeing all over the carpets. And then the view out of my window. So, just looking out to the street and all that. You can't actually see my car. Um... Which, I guess, is whatever. And then, obviously, the closet, which... Clothes, that sort of thing. Uh, that container has so much miscellaneous stuff in it, I don't remember. It's a lightsaber that I built at Disney years ago when I went to Disney. Custom built. It's Obi-Wan's handle with a green blade. For some reason, I decided that was a smart decision. And then, uh... Another cross-stitch that my, uh... Grandma made for me. And then my bed. And Francie continuing to sniff the bed. So, bedside table with my uh, messy, messy room. So, and then I've always had this, I've had this dream catcher for years, so I just brought it with me. And that is the um, paw print of my old dog. Um, when did she pass? 2007. So, it's been 13 years. But uh, I was really attached to her when I was younger. So, but yeah. That is the, uh, that's the Weather Gamer pad. God, I sound like an old man Weather Gamer pad. So, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed it. But now you know, uh, my, uh, setup. And I'm turning off all the lights because I don't want to run up my power bill. So, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.